You guys, Anne Hathaway is getting called out for being rude to an interviewer. This is just like the Blake Lively situation, and it's actually the same interviewer that was experiencing this rudeness, but she did get an apology, so we are going to get into all of the drama surrounding Anne in this interview and what people have been saying about it. I honestly don't think it's as bad as the Blake Lively interview. Like, that one was nasty mean girl energy. This one, I just feel like she just didn't love the questions, but we'll break it down. We're going to get into it, and this whole YouTube channel that this interview viewer has created talking about all of her interviews from the past and it really has become like a whole thing so let's spill on all that is going on okay we're doing a little bit of a location switch up because i want to take a minute and show you guys how i unwind from the day so this has been my vibe lately me my phone my bed and i found the perfect game for this moment it is called seat away it's this super fun puzzle game where you have to rearrange seats in order to make way for passengers and let me tell you guys it's surprisingly challenging okay you start off with some easy levels and then you're kind of like wait like I actually have to sit and think about this for a second but that's what makes the game so satisfying and then you get a little aha moment right when you get everyone all seated right before time runs out plus it's totally free to download and you don't need Wi-Fi for this game which is one of my favorite parts I love a game that you don't need Wi-Fi for so you can play anytime anywhere it's perfect for those no pressure moments where you just want to sit and relax like this one right here it's just such a fun little little challenge and the best part is if you download using my link in the description or if you scan the QR code that is on the screen right now you will get some special rewards you will get three hours of infinite life and 500 coins so go download the game get cozy join me and see just how many levels you can beat and like I said you can download it using the link in the description or you can scan the QR code on the screen and once again thank you to see away for sponsoring today's video and let's get into the news to get into all things Anne Hathaway and why she's found herself in some drama recently, we have to go back to 2012 when she was doing press for Les Mis because this old interview is now going around online as it was definitely an awkward one. But people are accusing her of being rude and off-putting in this interview after seeing the clips go around. This all started when celebrity interviewer Chaussie Flaw posted a video to her YouTube channel titled, This Might Be My Worst Interview Idea Ever. In the video, she talked about how she's been posting these celebrity interviews to show people the behind the scenes of her job and what it's actually like to interview celebrities, which I think is absolutely fascinating and also shows which celebs might be more game for a press day. But also, you know, people are human and they have off days. And some people do think that's what happened in the whole Anne Hathaway situation that we're about to get into. But then there's times like the Blake Lively situation where everyone was like, that was no off day. She was just being straight up nasty mean girl. But when it comes to this Anne Hathaway interview that's been going around, people have been debating how she was in this interview. Was she rude? Was she having an off day? Was it completely fine? Was it just the interview questions that she didn't like? Like it has just become this whole big debate. Cause compared to her co-stars, Anne was not giving what the rest of them were giving in terms of how fun this interviewer wanted to take things. The interviewer had explained that because the movie was a musical, she wanted to have fun with the interview questions and to spice things up, she was going to sing the question to the actors and some of them really responded well and it was really cute. I'm actually going to show you the question that I came up with. Just watch this. So were there any awkward moments on set like this? Because you had to, <laughs> because you had to sing and not talk. Okay, so that was what I was going for. And I thought, I hope the actors are gonna be on board with this. Because you had to sing and not talk. I love that you ask me a question and you stay all on one note. Like we're in church, <laughs> it's very good. There were not many awkward moments like this. We rehearsed for many weeks. There were hundreds. <laughs> Are we going to stay on the one note or are we going to graduate to another note? <laughs> you could sing just the way you want to. Yeah. I forgot that I was singing and I'm going to do an English accent because that's what I was trained to do. Um, it was just like second nature. But when it came to Anne, she was not as game and it's what everyone is talking about right now. So I was gonna ask you to do the first question in singing. Can I sing it to you and you can sing back the answer? Well, I won't be doing that, but you're more than welcome to sing. Kirsti Fla from TV2 Norway. And I was sitting there like, okay, this is not going the way I hoped for. Uh, but then I thought, heck, I am going to do it anyways. And you have speed. Okay, I will try. So were there any awkward moments like this on the set? Because you had to sing and not talk. 
Yeah, so Anne Hathaway was not very excited to be singing to me and that interview just went completely downhill after that. She was just being like so uh, dismissive of me. Do you feel that love was more passionate back then or people would sacrifice more for love than we do today? No. No? No. Do you remember your first crush? Um, no. You don't? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will say the clip going viral on TikTok right now of Anne in this interview is one where you do not hear her giggle in reaction to the interviewer singing the question. So it does look way harsher. So I was gonna ask you to do the first question in singing. Can I sing it to you and you can sing back the answer? Well, I won't be doing that, but you're more than welcome to sing. Kirsty Fla. Do you feel that love was more passionate back then or people would sacrifice more for love than we do today? No. No? No. Do you remember your first crush? Um, no. You don't? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. I do think that including her little giggle while the interviewer was singing the question was her being nice and the rest of it was just, it was just not the best interview. You know, she was giving short answers and it seemed like she just wanted to get it over with and be done with the press day. I will say I would have loved to see the full interview of like all the questions that she answered without it being like edited down. And I did see a lot of people asking for it in the comments because they felt that maybe it wasn't so bad just like those parts in particular seemed awkward but some of those especially those that saw this going around on tiktok were ripping Anne hathaway apart saying that she was just being very dismissive and she could have just been giving a little bit more in this interview and for those who think the interview might not be that bad and that you know and wasn't that rude well it seems that other people in the industry were viewing it as such because when the interviewer posted this online originally back then she was asked to take it down otherwise she might have been blacklisted she hated me let's face it she really hated me and she didn't like that idea at all either uh, that was pretty obvious i did actually post that interview on my youtube channel and someone a representative from the studio told me to take it down he was like you know if you if people are gonna see that you might be blacklisted and i was like okay basically because she wasn't very nice uh which i've talked about before when the celebrities are not nice it's always the journalist's fault i have to admit maybe it was too much to ask her to sing back but she could have been nice for the rest of the interview it's just like i was just sitting there trying to make it a little more fun for everyone and she wasn't having it. So clearly if she's hearing that there's a potential of her being blacklisted for leaving this up, that definitely means that people knew that this was not a good look for Anne to have this on the internet. And she did talk about how she ended up meeting Anne again and that she was much nicer and mentioned how Anne seemed to change after this thing called Hatha Hate, which if you guys do not know, this was a time period a long time ago around 2010 when Anne was really hated by the public. People had accused her of being rude and a mean girl, but most say that back then it really just boiled down to her being really overexposed and people just grew tired of seeing her so much and so she was getting a lot of hate at the time and this hate at the time did cost her a lot she told vanity fair in an interview earlier this year when talking about this time period saying a lot of people wouldn't give me roles because they were so concerned about how toxic my identity had become online hathaway said without specifying which roles she was overlooked for but in this youtube video where chesty is talking about anne hathaway and what it was like meeting her after and her being nicer she seemed to think that she had kind of switched things up for herself after she got all that hate maybe to make sure she was never going to get any sort of hate like that ever ever again and it does seem like Anne is trying to stay far away from any more negativity being said about her online because once her team saw this going around on the internet her publicist reached out to Justy to apologize for this interview yesterday i did receive an email it was from Anne Hathaway's publicist and he forwarded a message to me from Anne Hathaway. Uh, I would have to say I was pretty shocked. I had not expected her to reach out to me at all. I, I thought she was never going to even see that uh, video, uh, but she did. And she did something pretty amazing. She sent me a long email explaining to me what she was going through right then when she did this interview and she apologized for being giving me an awful interview basically 
it was so touching to me. Um, just talking about it makes me almost teary eyed because I was just so grateful that she did that. And um, it was a very personal note. And we decided that I wouldn't share exactly what was in the email. But I just wanted to share with you guys um, what she did because I thought that was just so amazing. It seems like Anne was just trying to avoid going down like Blake Lively, who was called out not too long ago for being a mean girl in an interview with the same interviewer posted to YouTube. This video went absolutely viral and Blake just chose to ignore it, which honestly only made things worse. So whether Anne reached out because she meant her apology or not, I do think that it overall was the best look for her to come out and nicely apologize for the interview at the time. Some people feel like she didn't have to and there was nothing even rude about it in the first place, but I certainly want to know what you guys think about this whole interview drama. Do you think that Anne was being rude in this? What do you guys think about the fact that she apologized? I mean, this is just crazy. This poor interviewer has been through the ringer. She's got all these experiences interviewing these celebrities and not all of them are super fun and fresh, but I want to know what you guys think about all of this. Let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.